Shifting tracks now and with Omicron variant of COVID virus having been detected in at least 57 countries, the World Health Organization has asked all countries to shed complacency. The WHO has said that initial data shows that Omicron increases risk of reinfection, but there's no evidence to suggest so far that it causes severe disease. Latest findings also hint at lingering symptoms and hence the global health body has pressed on increased vaccine coverage. WHO has also urged world leaders to end their discriminatory travel bans and instead revise their plans against the virus. The features of Omicron, including its global spread and large number of mutations, suggest it could have a major impact on the course of the pandemic. Exactly what that impact will be is still difficult to know. We are now starting to see a consistent picture of rapid increase in transmission. Although for now, the exact rate of increase relative to other variants remains difficult to quantify. In South Africa, the number of Omicron cases is increasing quickly. However, Omicron was detected when transmission of Delta was very low, so it had little competition. It will therefore be important to monitor carefully what happens around the world to understand whether Omicron can outcompete Delta. For that reason, we call on all countries to increase surveillance, testing, and sequencing. Our existing diagnostics work, both PCR and antigen-based rapid tests, Emerging data from South Africa suggest increased risk of reinfection with Omicron, but more data are needed to draw firmer conclusions. There is also some evidence that Omicron causes milder disease than Delta. But again, it's still too early to be definitive. Any complacency now will cost lives. Many of those who don't die could be left battling long COVID or post-COVID condition, a disease with debilitating, lingering symptoms that we're only beginning to understand. BioNTech and Pfizer have said that three doses of their COVID vaccine or booster dose is effective in neutralizing Omicron variant. Uh, this is, of course, a statement which has been put out by the company where Pfizer claims that three doses provide a similar level of antibodies against Omicron to that of two doses against other variants. Both companies have said that work is underway for Omicron-specific vaccine. Meanwhile, the WHO also added that more research is needed on whether booster dose will be effective in tackling the Omicron variant. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. The Omicron variant has now been reported in 57. I think it's premature to conclude that this reduction in neutralizing activity would result in a significant reduction in vaccine effectiveness. We do not know that because, as you know, the immune system is much more complex. They're the T cells, they're the memory B cells. And so what we really need now is a coordinated research effort and not jumping to conclusions on, you know, study by study. We just had the consultation on December 6th as well, which laid out some of the uh, knowledge gaps and research priorities and encouraged researchers to really study these in depth. And as you know, this takes a little bit of time. So we'll have to be a bit patient. And with that, it's a wrap on the bulletin. You can keep tracking more news and updates on Mirror now. Also